Okay, so someone has given you some code to uh, run on your codex and you wanna know how to load it on there. Maybe it's on a blog post, maybe it's in a Python file, but let's see how we would start up Codespace and make that happen. And I'm assuming you don't already use Codespace, so this is for the uh, total beginner. Um, we're gonna go to sim.furialabs.com, and in this case, you get a pop-up that asks you if you wanna log in or not. I'm gonna continue without logging in, which means I can't save my work, but I don't care, because all I'm trying to do is just load the file right onto my codex and uh, I'm not gonna worry about saving it. So continue without logging in. I don't need this um, instructions on the right-hand side of the screen. I'm just gonna X so it can go away and give me plenty of room here for my code. And I'm gonna just delete whatever the sample code is over here. So just select it and press delete. And then um, I want to go into explore mode because I wanna be able to select my codex as the device that I'm loading the code onto. And going into explore mode by clicking that icon over here makes the select target button appear. So if I hit select target, I'll see that no device is currently selected, but I want the USB codex device. So I'm gonna click that and say, okay. Now I've got this red bar down at the bottom underneath my editor, USB codex disconnected, click to connect. Well, I can click, but there's no codex because um, I don't have it plugged in yet. So I need to plug this into my USB port, which I will do. Oh, and there it was. It showed up in the list and it automatically connected and opened a flash drive uh, explorer. If you don't already, if you haven't already associated your codex with your browser, you'll have to click on it in that list that comes up. So you will see a list that comes up there um, and then you'll click on it and say, that allow your browser to connect to it and then you'll see this little green bar. So now that, that green bar shows up, that means whatever code I put in here, when I hit the run program button, it's gonna load onto my codex. So now where's the code gonna come from? Well, how about a blog post? So I've got this Furia Labs blog post with lots of code for the wet paint app. So there's an idea. So why don't I take that, I need to select just the Python code in there, all the way to the bottom of the Python code right here. All right, I can hit Control C to copy it, or I can right click and say copy there. And then I go over into Codespace and I can Control V or right click and hit paste, and that pastes it in. So now I see I've got my code there. Another way to have done that, if someone gave me a file, like in my downloads folder, I've got this wet paint file, I can open that. So like if, I have a, if you have a text editor on um, Windows, the one that's always there is Notepad. So you can run Notepad, and then I could just drag that wet paint file into Notepad, and now I can select everything the same way. So if you've got a text file, like a Python file, you can just select the text and paste it in. Okay, so now the file is, the code is in there. Um, I could save this. Well, actually, if I'd logged in, I'd be able to save this on the cloud so I could have it whenever I wanted it but I'm just gonna run it right onto my codex. So right now my codex doesn't have anything on the screen. It's not currently running any particular program. So if I hit play, it will load and now it's running the wet paint app. So I can actually play around and draw some beautiful pictures using the accelerometer and using that awesome wet paint that everyone loves. So I'll draw a little picture here and you can see my codex has a pretty picture on it. So that's it. Now that I've done that, I can unplug the USB and put some batteries into my codex and I've got my application loaded. Thanks.